The Mackenzie Muskrat swim team out of Inuvik and WT have been up to some pretty big things in the territory and they're looking to catch a lot of waves. Let's check it out. Uh, I've been coaching since the Mackenzie Muskrat started. I believe we became a society in 2011, 2010 or 2011. Um, I'd probably say it's a smaller swim club in a small town that is really working hard to expand and working hard to make better swimmers. Um, I have been swimming for about five years now, um, since I was seven. We usually really try to work on um, endurance and speed when we're swimming and like breathing control because when you're when you're swimming and you breathe, then you go slower. So I think that when we're swimming, we really try to go as fast as we can. Vince really works hard on technique, and he makes us try really, really hard on um, improving our speed and endurance, and especially our breathing control, because that's a very important part of biggest thing that you want to try and pass on to the kids is the direct relation between the work that they put in and the attention and the effort and the result they get out of it. It's not, you know, to go there and just work hard. It's, 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 it's multiple things that you're working on. There's the psychology to it. There's the technique and there's the, uh, you know, there's the conditioning and the, and the physical training. But it's, it's, it's multifaceted. There's no one thing you're looking for. But because you guys are basically just sort of falling into your stroke. But get your legs going, get the dolphin kick off the wall, break into your flutter, and then, right? The plume. Vince is a very fun guy to work with. He, um, he's a joke. Work for. <laughs> he, um, he works around, he's a, he's a jokester. And he makes it, he pushes us a lot harder than we ever thought we could. Well, it's about, active lifestyles for children. Uh, swimming is a very good sport for all ages. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's an individual sport. Mm -hmm. It's also a team sport. Um, it's, it's a life skill you can take for the rest of your life. I mean, there's, uh, as people get older, people in their middle ages and even seniors uh, swim and compete mm -hmm. at, at a very high level. Uh, so it, it's, 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 it's a good sport to learn. Hi, I'm Abe Drennan, and I'm a, a grade 6 teacher here in Anubic. I'm recording my, a folk album in the Igloo Church. The name of the song is Friends Are There For You, and the song talks about about what, what friendship means from a 12-year-old perspective. It's interesting because in grade 6, 
in our school, they're moving on to something new. They're moving on to grade seven. They graduate. It's a big year for them, right? And so that also came out in the song as well. And the message they wanted to say was, you know, together we're stronger. Together we can, we can go through anything. You know, we can tackle anything. I think the Igloo Church is, as an iconic historic building um, has a wonderful acoustics and so it's great for recording in space. Um, the kids got an opportunity to experience not only the recording process um, but also the, the church, the space itself and many of them may not have even been inside it even though it's, in, it's a historic building in their community. Right, so it was a field trip of sorts, uh, a recording experience, an opportunity for them to, to perform. Originally from Tuck 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 NWT, Marika Cockney is back in the region and she's sharing her message of positivity and motivation. Let's check it out. Hi there, my name is Marika Cockney. I am a hoop dancer. My style is very modern. It's more hula hooping style mixed with uh, some kind of hip-hop moves and rhythmic gymnastic type tricks and stuff. My family is from Taktiaktak. I grew up in Canmore, Alberta, and I was born in Yellowknife. There were a lot of benefits growing up in the South, but I really did miss being surrounded by my family and the elders and the culture and everything. I was a competitive cross-country ski racer for a long time, for about 15 years in my life. My dad, he was one of the top ski racers in his day, and my brother went to the Sochi Olympics in 2014. He was up here a couple years ago to do what I'm doing, and uh, finally it's my turn to come up, and I'm really excited to be here. Kind of been waiting for my dad or my brother or my aunt or someone to take me up here, but I'm glad that it was dance that finally took me up here. I love uh, working with kids and working with the youth and inspiring kids. <laughs> Work wise, I've done everything. Uh, I was a server in so many different restaurants and I got really sick of not being my own boss. <laughs> I really wanted to build my own business and which is what we're doing. Um, James and I, we have an empowerment program and, and we bring it around to communities around Canada and the United States and it's been really fun and really, really rewarding. It's exactly what I've been wanting to do for ever since I was about 15. Hanse, my name is James Jones. I am from the Cree First Nations, which is located in northern Alberta. My reserve is called Tall Cree First Nations. And I'm up here doing youth empowerment workshops for the Health and Wellness Day in Inuvik at East 3 Secondary. 
The workshops were, were really great. Um, a lot of the youth came in and you know they were a bit shy at first. You know we got them up and we did some physical activity with them. So we did a little bit of what's called uh, powwow fitness. My partner Marika also did some yoga to kind of start off the class. And then after that, we we just talked about like achieving your goals, goal setting. You know, not only that, but we talked about some of the struggles that you know we went through in order to uh, succeed. Like you know being bullied, went through racism. You know dealing with drugs and alcohol. Also dealing with peer pressure from um, other other uh, young adults and teenagers so we talked about that kind of stuff and we got a really good response I felt like a lot of the kids um, kind of knew where we were coming from I felt like uh, I was part of like the cool kids when when I was out partying and, and drinking every time I did those things I would come home and I would feel really drained my energy was really low when I was about 20 years old uh, like shortly after I graduated high school I realized that I didn't want to feel like this anymore. And I told my friends one night, I said, this is the last time I'm drinking. They kind of responded well to what we were saying and they had a just a good a good vibe and a good feeling off of what we were saying. You know, we were being truthful with them and uh, yeah, it was, it was really great, good response and uh, we're so happy to be up here. The community visits that we have been doing um, have been really amazing. And especially uh, yesterday we did uh, Fort McPherson and it was so much fun. I, I find that the communities in the north, the kids are very engaged. They, they really listen to everything you have to say. And um, in some communities, it's, it's a lot different. Uh, some kids are, don't have much interest at all, which is really sad. But I found that in the north, the kids have a lot more interest, a lot more um, like sparkle in their eyes when when they, see, when they see us dancing and, and they really listen to us and what we have to say when we're talking. It's not really like, not really my, my thing, but I thought it was really interesting. She's really good at it. And uh, with her speech, she really focused on school and that's what me and him, we try and like tell kids to like keep going to school because like, I don't know. It's important. It's you important, just like it. me and him are gonna go to university next year and like we try and tell like our whole school, which I get them motivated to go to school and stuff. So I thought it was really good that she touched on that. And she, um, she talked a lot about um, goal setting and the importance of it and what it can really bring into your life. Stay in school, as much as you don't like it, it's um, really important and everybody needs it. There's no point not to go. It's fun, we have friends here, so. I support Nathan completely. Like I'm struggling in school a little bit, like not like grade wise, but trying to get to school in the morning. That's the hardest part, you know, like staying up late. I have stuff to do, I wanna do other stuff, but you know, you're so close, I only have what, like two and then like two months left and I'm gonna complete that and just be done with it. These are probably the hardest months. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> hardest <laughs> months. And um, I don't know. I support like physical activity, stay active while you're going to school, don't focus too much on just you know grinding the books out, but uh, yeah. And be social. Be social as well. Here at East 3 Secondary School, one of the first things I noticed was in their crest they have uh, the words rise above and that really spoke to me because throughout my life I have always dealt with social pressures and pressures from my family, pressures from my friends, pressures from everything, even pressures I put on myself. And um, I, it has been a common theme in my life to rise above all of those things, to rise above when people want you to go out and party, to rise above that feeling you have when you wake up and you just don't want to do it, to rise above that feeling and to get up and go and do it, even though you don't want to, and to be the person that you want to be. And don't be the person that somebody else wants you to be. And if I was still listening to what other people wanted me to be, I wouldn't be here right now. And I wouldn't be as happy as I am right now. And I, I wouldn't be traveling the world like I am right now. So be your own person and don't be scared to be different because being different can be a really amazing, magical thing for you. And it can bring you across the world and show you many beautiful things. And you'll meet many beautiful people along the way.
The East 3 drama program put on another production this year, and this time they took on a little bit of a traditional twist with How the Raven Stole the Sun. We were there with our cameras to talk to the crew and the cast. Let's check it out. We could just hide in our holes and never come out. It ain't our problem, it's the human's problem who did this. They should fix it. <laughs> East 3! A creation story that shared the laws of the land and laws of the people. This story specifically teaches us about what greed is and what sharing is, and that sharing is important. Awesome, welcome to dress rehearsal! <laughs> How long have you been Frank playing a rabbit? Uh, what do you mean? Is it hard to be a rabbit? No. I'm the moon, I'm the narrator for the show, so I'll be telling the story while everybody's acting out and everything. It was a dark night. The fire was glowing red, and the flames were high. My dress is like kind of centering the moon, and then the rest of me is kind of like the galaxy. I am the raven. Why does the raven steal the sun? Because of a greedy person. It is mine, and I will control it. All mine. We have students from grades one to grades 11 in the show this year. That has been an exciting and, um, and rewarding uh, experience. What's your character? Um, I'm a drummer and jigger and an animal. Which animal are you? A fish. Is it hard to be a fish? Kind of. How do you practice being a fish? I don't know. I just, <laughs> I don't know. This is live elementary school. <laughs> Some kids, um, two days ago, they were like, whoa, when they saw us all running from the aisle down right here. Is it fun being a fox? Yeah. What does a fox do? Well, the fox runs and stuff, and they can just do yippity yappity yippity yappy yippity yappy. <laughs> We called you to the rock because Owl and I are not able to run out to provide enough food for everyone. The job is too great. The tribal chief has stolen the sun. He is greedy and dangerous. We must decide what to do about our problem. I am the snowbird. And who are, who are you working on here? I'm working on the sun. Why is the sun in the bag? Because it got stolen out of the sky from the chief. Uh, what can people expect to see today? A lot of kids having fun. Now the animals are not starved because we can hunt for food in the daylight. Oh. We don't have to hide in our holes anymore. Hi! <laughs> What's your favorite part about the play? That I can meet new people. Nice. <laughs> What's the best part about this play? Um, having fun. Having fun. Yeah, having yeah, fun. Having um, seeing seeing all the people. Madison. Um, and just seeing like all the uh, props and characters. Dulagak flew away, and when he looked back, there was no land in sight. Just the beluga whale swimming gracefully along the blowing puffs of water. I am a drum dancer and a jig. Oh, we're doing bring back the sun. How long have you been a drum before? I don't know, about three years or something. Oh yeah? Yeah. Who's teaching you guys how to drum dance? Uh, uh Scott, 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 Scott. Marlo. Is it fun being a drum dancer? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> yes! We learned quite a few songs. Yeah? Yeah, we know like, I don't know, we know a lot. I play the Sato elder and the daughter. Is it hard to play an elder? No, it kind of is because you have to have like a little elder voice. This is what we must do. We must share what we have, share our gifts with others, so all may benefit. No one should be like that greedy chief. I'm inspired by my Auntie Margaret that lives in Norman Wells. It's gonna be really fun. They're gonna see how greedy the chief is. Are you ready? Yes! Yeah! Thank you all so much for coming. We appreciate your
your support, very much so. Tell your friends and family our closing performance will be at 7 p.m. tonight. Thank you all for coming. Next generation needs to know it because if we lose it, then there might be a chance that we can't get it back. It's our culture, it's fun, yeah, it takes out all the stress when I sing, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah